Hey there, welcome, welcome to another Baldur's Gate 3 video. I'm going to be continuing on that Warlock playthrough. And today we are going to be meeting a new cast member. <laughs> Getting somebody else into the group. Finally replacing Shadowheart. And um, then a pretty easy combat encounter. It's really comfy. And some story progression. So yeah. Without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay. So we just finished that encounter with the Nulls. The Nulls. I'm exploring down this way. There's a doggy over there. Another animal. I'd be interested in speaking with. Another reason to take to speak with the animals. But I didn't. Oh yeah, I gotta get that imp going. I could do the quasit quasite. But Sting is so powerful. Sting is really good. Get him to fly over here and check the scene out. It was like a fishing. Is this maybe a fisherman's setup? I don't really want to explore over here. I was a little interested, but not interested enough. Is that more blood? But there's no nulls over here, or nulls. There's skeleton. Bro. Oh, I recognize her. Yeah, just watch. Oh fuck me! It's you from the ship. Haven't taken any bounties from a burnt tear dink, have you? You know, this is the same. Uh, this is the second time that somebody said I saw you on the ship, but I didn't see nobody. I looked around a lot on the ship. Yeah, where were you? Now that's a story, and I'll tell it to you, but truth be told, we shouldn't stay here too long. See, these paladins of- Oh, she just sidestepped it. A great okay. heat roars through you, her heat fiery as the hells. Then you're lost in visions of demonic armies as you tear through a landscape of fire and blood. The blood war. You saw it from above as the Nautiloid passed through Avernus. This woman was on the front line. That's interesting. So she hasn't interacted with anybody that has the tadpole. Not by choice. I'm a good skull crusher, but I never wanted to serve Zariel. 
From that peak I got into your head, I'm not the only one with problems on top of problems. A mind flayer tadpole, huh? And no joy getting it sorted as of yet, I see. I'm Karlak. And you are... Well met, soldier. Now that we're old pals, how would you feel about helping me kill some evil bastards? Uh, very good about it. Very good. A little background. I would like to. If your moral compass needs something to point at. Not really. You already know I fought in the Blood War. I was good at killing demons. Really good. So good, Zariel, the Archdevil herself, made me her personal attack dog. I played along until I could get the fuck out of there. It took me ten years to probably escape, but now I'm free. Zariel sent goon after goon to hunt me down. But believe me when I tell you, I'm not going. Good. The latest yappy little dog she sicked on me are nearby. A group of dopes posing as paladins of tear. Wanna help me take them down? Posing as paladins of tear. Heck yeah. Don't worry, I'll lead the charge. But I could use your help. There's a lot of them, and only one of me. After that, we can team up. Take Faerun by the short hairs. Sound good? You want to just team up with some bloodstained killer? You are currently I'm very bloodstained. Yeah. <laughs> Asterian. Fuck yes. They cornered me outside the toll house just up the hill. Doubt they've gone far after the scorching I gave them. Hang on, though. Looks like you got enough backup at your side. Not sure there's room for me. Yeah, Shadowheart, uh, I'll catch beat up it. With you when it's time to camp for now. But don't get to any of the fun stuff without me. Got it? I don't think I'll get that helmet back on. I swear I took it off. I swear I took it off. There. Yes. Wait. So yeah, um, I think I need to have more energy in these videos, even when I am going to be talking about more interesting stuff and not uh, the game in front of me. This is another, uh, I, I started recording this one um, after the trip so the last episode i was talking or one of the last couple episodes i was talking about taking a trip or preparing for a trip i recorded something the morning before the trip and then um this is after the trip and a week after it was a long trip and a lot happened on it and, um, i just kind of needed like a mental break from it which sucks because it kind of got me out of this rhythm of Recording gameplay, making the videos, recording the the narration. But uh, hopefully I'm back on. Hopefully I can jump back onto that that rhythm. Huh? I don't know why they all say get the Yankee there. Weird, right? Who knows? Um, yeah, it was a long trip where I went and visited some of my family and 
spent a lot of time with my very close family. It's just interesting. I found out a lot about some people that are relatively close to me. But I don't feel We may have to know. increase our camp provisions. I don't feel super close to them. The journey. Kind of the problem. I feel really close to my friends, air, but I don't feel super close to my family. Still, she'll I feel like there are just like bars fun. in between us for communicating. That I can try and do if and I can try and communicate with them. Fine. And explain my own I'll perspective, but it doesn't feel like I'm um, being heard or being understood, which I don't know if that's generational issues or if that's just people that are out of practice with Why are we slowing down? forming routes of communication, but aces. Yeah. Yeah. Trust me. I'll tell oh god, I got got her. After we take care of the goons on the trail. my party. It's, nice. it's going to be nice to have a barbarian. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Um. Depends on the type. Ice devils hate. That's a thing that I debate about a lot. Orthons love projectiles. What they don't love is getting their bombs lobbed right is. back in their faces. Demons, um, on the other hand, every demon is absolutely singular. You can't ever think you've gotten typed out. Sharp instincts, sharp weapons, and a knack for improvisation. That's the only way to survive them. <laughs> anyway, what we communication's about? tough, but it's a skill that I, I spent a lot of time working on. I feel like I can reach there with yeah. with people. Let's go straight and there. And sometimes I feel like I can reach there good. a lot easier Just with people I barely way. know. They're not really paladins. You know, of the arch devil playing dress up as paladin. I feel like I can, no honor among I mean, not devils. corner people, but corner people that I'm just meeting and have these kind of conversations yeah, with them and bring this up with them. They're, what would have become of us without that Nautiloid. I guess when they're in the headspace of meeting somebody, they're also in the headspace of experiencing something new, which is important. It's important for having these types of conversations, even with somebody that might not be a versed few. in this type of. Sometimes I think I'd be better off indulging in a bit of light oblivion. This type of communicating. You may as well make some good memories mixed in with the body horror, huh? You know. I think everybody has a vision of what real talk is, and when other people don't meet it. Um, because that was, that was a situation that happened with someone I was with a little while ago. Let's they didn't watch. think I was good at communicating and being real and being in the moment, but for me, I was. And I just felt like she wasn't hearing it, you know? She could listen to the words. She could... relatively understand sentiments that I'm making, but she wasn't. Um, she wasn't understanding what I really meant. You know? She didn't understand a whole side of me. I don't know still kind of working on it and that's one of the things I really want to talk about that's uh, the whole reason I want to be having this real talks series is so eventually those type of ideas can have a comment section devoted to discussing them and giving perspective and you know, have long drawn out multi video long conversations where people will be able to have days in between the back and forth of the conversation and grow their perspective and take everything that an individual says, you know, into account before the response is made. It seems really interesting. I, I'm, I really would like for that kind of thing to work itself out.
So I'm trying to strike a balance in these videos between talking about the gameplay and my decisions and the things that I'm making. But also discussing these things. But it also is in the back of my mind that I, I don't have, there's nobody's watching these videos, right? I don't have any viewers. I'm kind of just talking to myself right now. But with the understanding that there might be viewers later. So it's worth saying out loud, right? It's worth treating the situation as if there are, because there's no downside if there aren't. You know, I, I was just talk I just seemed like a crazy guy talking to myself in my room. But you know. On the off chance that somebody does find this and sticks around long enough to be hearing this. Maybe discourse can be made. The most interesting and formative portion of my life was the portion that I spent with one of my best friends. And when they were in town all the time, we would hang out and we would just sit across from each other and talk about anything. And we'd have the most interesting discussions deepest conversations and it didn't matter where we were we didn't care who could hear us we didn't care who was listening which was awesome it was amazing i mean i have to wonder and it started this portion of my life where i just stopped caring who heard me who was listening who knew some of these things about me people say you should Hold a portion of yourself or just yourself or just your close friends and your partner maybe or whoever but i don't think so i don't think i'm important enough for that right i think i'm just important enough to get my sentiment clear and talk about it no i think I think we all, you know, I think we're all important enough to discuss these types of things. You don't know who's going to have a perspective about something you're interested in until you exert thought about it, until you throw your perspective out there and see what comments, what thoughts are meant. Are, are, are sent back at you, right? Because you don't know. You don't know what you don't know, and that's the scary part about it. You have no idea what you don't know. Yeah, so... That's why I'm going to try to make myself clear and try to just give my thoughts as they come in this type of format. And recently, I've just been thinking a lot about communication. How important it is to me. It is extremely important to me. Communication. If you couldn't tell already. Laughing curse, have you? <laughs> I really made it out of Avernus. It's incredible. All right, just keep it down. We're conspicuous enough without your hyena call. That's funny. I love the interactions between the characters. Hmm. One thing. What's that? What's that?
wonder how many more of those there are. Well, I guess I'd see, like... The interactions. There's the boulder that killed me. That stuff is dope. Hang on. Those paladins I need to stomp are that away. She's so impatient. I know, we're just we're taking a hey, little detour. We're going after those paladins, right? Yeah, of course we are. Zariel's bruisers roaming the coast. I don't know what those nose things are. That those nose piercings look like they were painful. But so do the Good news. Release valves in her shoulders. Finished. I'd love to, thanks. For me. Hmm. Something I figured out in uh, a different playthrough was picking up. Uh, barrels like that and chests and putting them in your inventory to be able to, you know, do something with them. And I'm using uh, this imp a lot more. Dude, but I was doing that in the last one. Yeah, communication. Um... I don't know. Uh, I think the most important thing that we have is understanding. And the way to get understanding is to uh, communicate concepts to one another. And um, people just can't, people can't do that easily. It's not like a simple thing to do is to communicate a concept to one another. You know? It's not simple at all. It's, it's tricky. You have to understand the person and... You know... Um, give them your attention and give them your understanding. And th they have to understand you as well. It's a, it's a handshake. It's a two-way street. They have to understand where you're coming from and try to take in what you're grasping from their... Explanation. Not as bad as it could have. They, they have to take that in and, and understand what you are, what you're understanding about, you know, their explanation, and just give you the give you the right formula of ideas to create the concept in your mind, and wait for you to explain it to them, you know, and show your understanding. Show. You've reached some sort of understanding, and then you get deeper and deeper with... You show them that you understand a concept, and they... Um, you show them that you understand a concept, and they show you more understanding. They they give you another concept to understand, that they, that they understand. They, they go deeper. They keep giving you more concepts to understand and try to, trying to explain them to you. And as you get to know each other better, you know, it becomes easier for you to be... Oh, ran out just in time. Right before I opened that door. And um, the, the better they know each other, the better you know the other person, the easier it is to explain to them. Right? Uh, the easier it is to explain to them the concept. The easier it is to get them to understand what you're saying. And that's so important. Because when people understand each other, wonderful things happen. Really wonderful things happen. That's where partnerships and teams. A waypoint, nice. Bodies everywhere. 
accidents? Not just teams, but high functioning teams. You know. Nothing we need to worry about. How about a dragon? Would that worry you? I'd give it a bloody good fight, that's for sure. <laughs> Anything you give a dragon is done. The whole yes. plane reeks of it. That'll wake you up of a fine day, won't it? I do not need awakening. My senses are sharp as steel. Yeah, the problem that happened this weekend is my grandfather, well, one of the problems, I guess. My grandfather didn't, um, kind of display to my family that he is very bad at communicating what's been going on with his partner. Please, no more. Leave us in peace and we shall leave you in kind. The crap and it just became really apparent what was going on. Yeah. Don't let her hurt us. Please. We had to communicate to how bad their communication was, but it's it communication again is a two way street, and if they're not ready to hear how bad their communication is, then we're not going to get it through to them. So it also kind of feels like imposing. It feels like I'm. Imposing my perspective of their communication onto them, and they're just, you know, they can do what they want with it, they can do what they will with it, even though, you know, in the situation, there's probably a right or a wrong. Nothing in his demeanor betrays him. How do I know that I'm the right one in the situation? I, I could be just a prick that's judging somebody. Zara. Right? Certainly not. We serve Tyr, Lord of Justice, no other. Please, mercy. Half of us are badly injured, the other half dead. I admit, we ambushed you. An assignment from our gods, Tyr. We thought you a devil, and with your flames you proved us right. But Tyr will not consign us to our death. He is merciful. Leave us, and we'll leave you. Enough. I saw into our mind. Enough. I know what the truth is. I'll not play pretend anymore. Karlak, you're going home in pieces if needs must. And you, you'll soon learn what it means to ally yourself with the likes of this garbage. Avernus was never my home. It was my prison. I'm free now. And I'm never going back. Pretty hot. I mean, her powers. Yes. Bless him. Miss on a 91. And it wasn't even a critical miss, too. Take note of that. Take note. Write that down. It wasn't even a critical miss. So, I rolled a 2. I must have rolled a 2. 91% miss. That's ridiculous. X. And do this in case I choose to do hold person or crown of madness on him. I'll see how much it what the cost is 25%. 25%. Oh, it's probably the same. Crit, nice.
How was he frightened? What about my... Huh. Curious. I am in there. Good, I'm getting everyone involved in the fight. Be there in tank. A little bit of damage. Swift and lethal. Arlac is in a really bad position to be the one who rolled last. I should give her some sort of bonus to initiative. Just get out of Carlac's way and let her come in. And... Wow, that was a big hit. That was a huge hit. Probably rage. Get right up on them. Yeah, that's the good stuff. Oh, prepare. Oh, I don't think I noticed that. Oh, and I'm using the wrong cleave, too. I rolled a, a one. Nice try, not gonna work though. I wanna try to hit them from outside of you. But might as well just shoot the guy. Sounds like fun. All successful. Ones. Broke his concentration. I'm kind of thinking in the back of my head that I'm gonna go through those doors, and I'm kind of gonna come around the other side of the the person who just ran in the door. Blast him. Only got eleven health left. Time for some bloody work. Got him. Yeah, I gotta run into the room and that's silly. Very nice. And a little bit of polish. That's what I'm gonna say a little bit of polish. I guess that's how D and D campaigns go. It's like 
when you're kind of new to the game, you'll the first few combat encounters are going to be a little bit weird once you're kind of figuring out how to work as a team. Yeah, every short rest? Heck yeah, I'm going to use a short rest after this. And those kind of things, and not being uh, timid to use some of your extra stuff. Hamstrung. I could probably jump. Some damage is pretty good. I was thinking about going and doing, going through the door, but just walking in through the front door and sneaking back. Ninety-nine percent. Mummy's little friends want to pick up where the others left off. They'll find nothing but a pile of ash. Yeah, heck yeah. Zariel's gotta stop. Tear me, this you know? place I'm down. Done with it. I'm done with her. But like, before you do this, let us um go crazy, or bef let us get out of here. Yeah, it's just gonna tear up the whole room, the whole building. Where's she going? Oh, she's coming by us. Oh, ow. Oh, wait, don't follow her. No. Okay, thanks for avoiding us. Should have just should have swung it. That ought to do it. <gasps> Soldier, I need your help. Let her take everything in here now. That's a glitch. But she keeps tripping on these boxes. Rip. Losing her path. Yep, there it is. This alt button is busted. Too bad she broke the ladder. Can't get. With that ladder. Luckily, she didn't break this ladder.
That was cool. I I like what they did with her character. And that they're giving her this I don't know. It just, they all these characters feel so unique. And it feels like uh, I should probably be playing one of them cuz I'll get bonuses. I've noticed that Asterian gets a bonus when he bites somebody. He gets that plus 1 happy something or other. And he has a whole like move, you know, as a whole bonus action attack that heals himself. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh nice. Now I have a barbarian for those gloves. And um Harlack has her she has that additional move, I think. Could have stayed interesting. Oh, that put the wind back. Felt good letting off a little steam after facing off with those ignots. Granted, the fire lasted a little longer than it should. Hear that? Infernal engine for a heart. Let's me burn as hot as the hells. Seems to be running in overdrive since I left Avernus. Won't be seeing my mechanic anytime soon, so I'll just make the most of the extra heat. Just don't get too close till I've found a way to calm it down. Sure. I already have a partner, I guess. You have a mechanic for your heart? High pain yeah, tolerance. How'd you get it? And a dynamic duo of truly shitty bosses. But it's a bit early in the game to be getting into tragic backstories. That's meta. Let's save the Scar show for later, after we've worked up an appetite for tragedy. Meanwhile, I'll need to find someone who can tune up my engine sooner rather than later. Believe me when I say this thing is hot. The first time I faced down those paladins, they let slip there was an infernal mechanic in the area. A tiefling. He might be able to stabilize things. If I can find him. Oh yeah, there are the tieflings that are hold up in. Sounds like grow. a good lead. Hopefully our guy will be among them. A tune-up would do this old tub a world of good. Oh well, that marks the end of the video. So thank you very much for listening. For hanging enjoyed yourself um yeah see you next time